All right, once you're done here, go ahead and see the guy with the scalp in his hand and the guy that, you know, contributed the scalp. From here, you can pull that if you want to, learn about a bit of history. But from here, the enemy that you're going to be worried about is going to be the, uh, the zealot, or the crow guy, as I like to call him, because I can never remember the zealot. But booby trap that side, and then booby trap this other side, because people are going to be coming from this angle. But make sure you have enough for a uh, bucking bronco for the uh, zealot. That'll help you out in the long run. Oh my, that has a, guy, has a shotgun. <laughs> Priorities, make sure you get the shotgun guy first, because if he gets close and shoots you, that's that's a chunk of health that's going to be gone. Like that guy right there, the shotgun. Oh shoot, I'm surrounded. That's not good. Alright, shotgun. That's not good. Alright, forget it. I need to use fucking Bronco here. Alright. Looks like... Alright. Uh, da 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 da. Okay. Thank you, but... At the moment... Thank you, Elizabeth. Alright, here comes the... I'm gonna switch to my shotgun for this. That's so much damage. And he's dead. So, with that, now you get to progress. Man, that was a squeaker. <laughs> that was definitely a squeaker. But, it's done. Uh, throw the fire traps right here. Apparently they drop from here. So instead of that one little area that I did... Oh, did that explode? It exploded, but put it right here, and you'll most likely be uh, good for that first uh, couple of waves. So with that, let's go ahead and head back. I believe there's guys going to be... Oh, I'm, stuck on a, I'm stuck on a rock or something. Alright, run, 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 run. Yeah, we all have a choice. Box Rebellion. I don't think anything's going to show up. So, oh my goodness. Uh, murder, whatnot. So we go to the First Lady Memorial. That sounds like a fighting. Yep. So anyways. <laughs> yeah. Always on your toes. <laughs> Always on your toes and make sure you have like a shotgun, I guess, handy. So from here, you can get some audio cues if you if you uh, let Elizabeth read those. We're just going to go ahead and bypass it. And then more audio cues, go ahead and bypass it. Or you can stick around if you want. Yeah. Looks like she doesn't want to. Come on, I don't care about your grand revelation. Go ahead and lock, open this. Man, I ran past the... The place where she reads the stuff and she's like catching up. Lo, while Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved, she shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. Well, that's a shame, because I have it right now. That's when you realize you're, that she's Comstock's daughter. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. I don't know. If you wish hard enough, you can probably get a puppy. Open this, Elizabeth. That's like she has this grand revelation. Then we tell her to lock a picket right afterwards. Man, we're sensitive. There's a part where you read that Daisy Fitzroy killed what's her face, but more importantly, she has like money right here that you can easily snatch. There's a Vox phone here that you can listen to about, I think about prophecy or something. I think there's some money right here too. Yes, you are very generous. You just gave me money. Thank you. There's no money in the fountain. Bust down through the door. There's nothing here except for a grand display. Go through here. Oh boy, here we go. Here comes the first major fight. This is also the part where you discover that she can use tears and whatnot. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way but this is going to be a sniper rifle here. The shotgun won't help you as much, but the sniper rifle will definitely help you. 
so definitely use the sniper rifle because it's going to be a very distant battle. That and keep possession on hand because there's also going to be a turret that you can use along with a turret that you can summon which I'm going to be using. But there's the sniper rifle that you will be using unless you want to actually go down there and see if you can, you know, brawl them. I don't recommend it. I want the I want the turret, please. I don't want to get down. I don't want to switch this. There is a there it is. I want to see if I can get the uh, rock guy. Ah, perfect. All right, from here, it's gonna get frantic. Remember your uh, your training. <laughs> Ooh. Now that rocket guy is doing work. <laughs> All right, whatever. Oh, oh. Is that it? Oh, no. <laughs> Take that, Tin Man. Alright, so. <laughs> that's that's basically it. There's a whole mess of little things down here on the ground. Uh, definitely take them. Uh, keep that sniper rifle on hand, because that's definitely going to help you when you come back here for the second time. Yeah. Spoiler alert, you're coming back here for a second time and it's going to be much worse. <laughs> uh, you can you can chant this guy, <laughs> even though he looks broken, you can still loot him for money. The vending machine's empty, so it can't do anything. But anyways, keep moving, keep moving. Uh, okay, possession is... what? This is going to be important, possession for less. Okay. Uh, Nothing here really I can use. Uh, there's no salt vending machine. And so this is the room where you fight your first, uh, your first patriot. And this is going to get a little bit hectic. You can't stun him with uh, shock jog because you can't use it yet. So I recommend Devil's Kiss. So when this starts, go ahead and just preemptively throw these things. Like, oh my God, it's actually triggering. All right, that's too close. But preemptively put stuff here so that this fight will go a lot faster. Oh, I need more salt. So that once he busts out, he's gonna get a face full of uh He's gonna get a face full. Wow, that actually did no damage. I'm kinda disappointed in that. Alright. So from here, keep your distance. Usually the turret is enough to get his attention where he has to turn around and face it, but if you can kite him around the turret it's more power to you. Like that. See, as long as he has aggro and you have a turret up, the turret will do a very diligent job at shooting it. Uh, there you go. Get the lockpick. And you can kite it like that. Uh, I'm surprised that uh, the fire didn't work, especially since I have an upgraded Devil's Kiss, but, you know, best laid plans on Mice and Men, etc, etc. Use these salts, you're never going to come back to this room anyways. And this is like the longest lock pick of her life. Just give us what we came for. There's nothing. Alright, there you go. This is when you realize you just got hosed. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, there's no shock jockey in here. You realize. She unlocks that, so now I'm successfully at... <laughs> I'm successfully at zero uh, lock picks. Now I gotta start searching for some more. Uh, there's nothing in here. I mean, it's just like literally a dark little closet. <laughs> it's kind of spooky. Spooky, uh, and then this is where uh, you start uh, fighting Slate. I highly recommend taking out this uh, sniper rifle. There's a movie thing. There's another one right there if you want it. So from here, as soon as you walk out these doors, you're going to run to Slate and Slate's men, and it's going to be another battle.